Hello students, Minya Mam here. Today I am going to discuss about periodic classification of elements, the main trends involved. The modern periodic table or the long form periodic table consists of four main blocks. They are S block, P block, D block and F block. Group 1 and 2 belong to S block. Group 3 to 12 belong to D block. Group 13 to 18 belong to P block. And the 14 different elements in between that of lanthanum and hafnium, known as lanthanides, and 14 different elements in between actinium and rutherfordium, called as actinides, belong to F block. Today we are going to learn about the periodic trends involved in the modern periodic table. The main trends that we are going to look upon are atomic radius, ionization enthalpy, electron gain enthalpy and electronegativity. First, atomic sizes. You know the size of the atom is very small. So, the direct determination of the sizes is never possible. We resort to an indirect method of finding the sizes. That is by taking the atomic radius. It is taken as half the internuclear distance between the neighboring atoms. Atomic sizes are particularly determined from the atomic radii. For metals, it is specifically known as metallic radius and for non-metals, it is called covalent radius. In case only ions are present, we refer it to as ionic radii and if non-metals are present in the form of gases, we refer it to as van der Waals radii. So, atomic radius is defined as half the internuclear distance between the neighboring atoms whereas metallic radius is half the internuclear distance between the neighboring metal atoms in a lattice. Now the question is what is meant by lattice? Lattice is a solid structure wherein the metal atoms are arranged at fixed positions. Covalent radius, this is particularly used for non-metals. Half the internuclear distance between the neighboring atoms which are covalently bonded together. Van der Waals radius, it is half the internuclear distance between the non-bonded atoms of the neighboring molecules. What are the trends in atomic sizes? Across a period, Atomic number keeps on increasing, which increases the number of protons and electrons. When number of protons increases, the nuclear charge increases, which increases the nuclear pull. The electrons are entering in the same shell or orbit. As a result, the screening effect will not be that much appreciable. And so, the size of the atom keeps on decreasing. Here. The graph depicts the atomic radius in a period. We have taken the elements present in second period starting from lithium to fluorine. On checking the graph you find that the atomic size keeps on decreasing gradually. The reason being the increased nuclear pull pulling the valence electrons more towards it. Down the group, what happens? Atomic number keeps on increasing, thereby increase in protons and electrons occurs. Here, electrons are entering different shells and subshells. As a result, the screening effect and shielding effect also keeps on increasing. So, the nuclear pull is not felt by the outermost electrons. With a result, the size of the atom keeps on increasing. Coming to the next important point, that is ionization enthalpy. 
it is depicted by delta h i it is the energy required to remove the loosely bound electron from an isolated gaseous atom the first ionization enthalpy is the energy required to remove the valence electron from a gaseous isolated atom for every element you find that the first ionization enthalpy is always less than that of the second ionization enthalpy which is again less than the third ionization enthalpy and so on this graph represents the variation of ionization enthalpy along a period here having a closer look at the graph depicts that the ionization enthalpy doesn't change gradually why there is a dip in the curve that we will discuss in detail in this chapter what are the trends in ionization enthalpy across a period the ionization enthalpy is found to increase this happens because ionization enthalpy is directly related to atomic sizes you know that across a period the size keeps on decreasing so the valence electrons will be more closer to the nucleus with a result we will have to spend a lot of energy in removing a tightly bound electron as a result the ionization enthalpy keeps on increasing when we move from left to right in a period now what happens in when we are moving down a group ionization enthalpy is found to decrease this is again related to the sizes down the group the size keeps on increasing so the valence electron is far away from the pull of the nucleus so it is easy to expel out an electron from the loosely bound atom next point is electronegativity the tendency of an atom to attract a shared pair of electron towards itself is known as electronegativity the most electronegative atom will be the one which is smallest in size and that is fluorine generally speaking metals are electropositive in nature that means they will lose electrons and become stable whereas non metals are electronegative in nature that is they gain electrons or attract a shared pair of electron towards itself and become stable as a result non metals are more electronegative compared to that of metal what are the trends in electronegativity across a period electronegativity is found to increase and it becomes maximum in group 17 group 18 elements however doesn't show electropositivity or electronegativity down a group electronegativity is found to decrease because the size keeps on increasing next is electron gain enthalpy what do you understand by electron gain enthalpy it is the energy associated when an electron is added to a gaseous neutral atom in some cases you find that on adding an electron the atom becomes more stable so in such a case the electron when added it it will expel out a lot of extra energy that was present earlier and this energy that is released is uh, called the electron gain enthalpy such atoms have negative values for electron gain enthalpy whereas some other cases you find that atoms are already stable by adding one electron it loses its stability this happens in the case of group 18 you know group 18 elements are having completed shells and so it is highly stable when we add an electron with reluctance it adds up an electron and becomes unstable so it is becoming unstable by absorbing energy so such cases you find that they will absorb energy and so what are the trends in electron gain enthalpy 
as we move across a period the electron gain enthalpy becomes more and more negative up to group 17 the reason being that it has a tendency to become more and more electronegative that is non metallic character keeps on increasing in group 18 however the electron gain enthalpy becomes positive why it is so we have discussed earlier coming to the last point that is valence electrons and valency what are valence electrons these are the number of electrons present in the valence shell or the outermost shell now what do you understand by valency it is the combining capacity of an element you find that valence electrons and valencies are the same for group 1 and 2 but for group 13 to 18 we get the valence electrons by subtracting 10 from the group number valency gives an idea about how many electrons are required for the atom to complete its octet you will have a closer look at the table here you find that group 1 and 2 will have the valence electrons and the valency is same as the group number whereas from group 13 to 18 the valence electrons are got by subtracting 10 from the group number and valencies are nothing but the combining capacity of the element thank you Thank you children